If you're struggling to learn Java and it's really difficult for you and you've been trying to take other courses and, you know, you've just had it difficult, like your, your family situation is complicated and you don't have any money, you're broke. Sorry to break it up to you, but it's your goddamn fault. And you need to start taking personal responsibility. I don't make this video to offend anybody. I don't make this video to laugh at your circumstance, and I know that it truly is difficult. I was a child of an immigrant, single mother, didn't have a dad, and I could go on and on and talk about my victim story and why it was difficult. No one cares about that. I don't care about that. There, were, there was work to do, and the moment that I started to take responsibility for my life, and the moment I stopped blaming anybody else, was the moment where my life began to change. So I want you guys to do the same. I coached over 2000 people and the number one thing I noticed is the identity shift. There is great tutorials out there. You can literally go right now on Google, on YouTube, which is probably how you found this video. Type in how to learn Java. There's eight hours long videos. 1% of people are going to finish these videos. 99% of you guys are not even going to finish the video because you can't focus because you're, you're, you've been spending too much time on TikTok, too much time watching porn, and you simply, your brain doesn't work. How are you supposed to learn Java? How are you supposed to learn anything? And then people blame talent. Oh, I'm not talented. Okay, how about you make sure to focus? How about you close all the other tabs? How about you dedicate time for it? Say no to things, start learning emotional authority, learning emotional intelligence, setting boundaries with people, setting boundaries with yourself, developing a better character. Oh, now it works. Oh, now I'm getting results. I'm not saying this lightly. Over 2000 people have gone through my coaching courses. I'm not going to sell you the course, but I'm going to sell you the idea that you can. Because a lot of people, they are sort of on the edge. Maybe you found this video and you're like, well, I want to give it a try. You're curious, but you're really just dipping one foot in. You're one foot in and you're one foot out. And if you had three feet, then you're one foot in and two feet out. That's most people. You're committed 30%. That is why it's not never going to work for you. Because th those that are committed 30%, you're gonna get crushed. There's someone else out there who's committed 100%. They have nothing else to lose, probably even tougher situation, and that's why they're going to win, okay? You need to start thinking about it this way. Now, again, number one thing that separates, and this is so fascinating, because the, I started a Java course, and people people are over laughing. Why are you, why should, should someone take a Java course if you can learn for free? And that's exactly the problem. No one, ever gets a significant result from mindlessly scrolling YouTube, mindlessly watching some videos. No one ever gets a result from that. That's like significant. I'm not, I'm not talking about mental masturbation. I'm talking about actual tangible results. Oh my God, I got $200,000 a year developer position. Oh my God, I built a massive business based on the Java language, based on any other difficult coding language. By the way, Java is not difficult, but let me get to that later. So you need to start taking personal responsibility. And for you, that start with saying my fault. Again, not making fun of anybody. I'm not inviting you to, to comment below, but you know, my situation is different. Listen, there's people out there who can't walk. There's people out there who were born without hands. Chances are you're not one of these people. And even if you were, you can still do something about it. But chances are 99.9% .9 of you guys, you have 10 fingers, on your hands, you can use those 10 fingers, you have an internet connection, so there is no excuse for you not to do this. And there is no excuse for you to blame anybody else but yourself. Even if you have children, even if you're old, you're too young, I don't care about the excuse. You're supposed to write it down on a piece of paper and then flush it down the toilet. Any sort of but. Oh, I, 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 I would learn Java, but. Oh, I would find more time, but. I would, but, I would, but, write it down right now, do a little butt exercise, and throw this piece of paper, burn it, flush it, throw it away, dispose of it, tear it apart. You don't need that. You're not going to become a better person. So the number one thing I want you guys to do is commit 100% to do this. Very simple. You can make a mental commitment right now. You're watching this video. You came here to learn Java. Probably by this time, you've expected me to actually explain your Java. Come on. There, there's other free videos. We have a course, how to learn Java. You can check it out below. But really, guys, if you're going to check my courses below with anything less than 100% commitment, you're not going to get result. It's the same as you watching the other videos online, which are free. So why bother? Why you should waste eight hours of your time watching a free YouTube tutorial series, which you're not going to do because none of actual people, you know, nowadays have functional brain to sit down for a couple of hours. I mean, not saying eight, eight hours, but you can split it. You get a point. So I want you guys to make a commitment. 
Do you want to get results or you want to stay, stay being broke? Do you want to feel pathetic and miserable or do you want to feel successful and confident? And you have to say, dude, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. So I want you to make a commitment right now to excellence. If you're average in any area of your life, there is one area which you can excel at. That is personal responsibility and work ethics. And that's actually two, but what, whatever. Work ethics. Okay. You can set a high standard for work. You can work hard. That's one thing that you can do really well. If you don't have a natural talent for anything else, there's one thing you can never fail at working hard. Number two is I want you to allocate time. You're going to block the time. If you, do, if you don't block the time, it'll never come. If you don't set the alarm, it'll never happen. So what I do is I have a tool called the power map. This is a simple Excel spreadsheet. Why download so many other applications to your phone, sign up for so many services. All you're going to do is have a free Google account and copy paste this spreadsheet. I, you know what? I don't even care. I'm going to post the link for free because I know 99% of you guys are not going to use it and you're not going to get results. Very simple. So after you've made a commitment to excellence, to working hard, that's all you, all you're going to do is the one thing which you can excel at. So after you've made the commitment, it's time to allocate the time. For that reason, I developed this special calendar. It has a dashboard. We don't have to go over the dashboard. It's a little bit too advanced. I don't care. I'll explain this later in my courses. If you want to check it out, you can do it below. But I don't care about this. This video is for free. I want to help you guys for free. So all you're going to do is look at the month. Today, we have August. So we have August the 10th, right? So what do you want? What do you want to do is you want to write down, you have one, two, three, four, five, not more, because I want you guys to have a great focus. And I want you guys to just write down the time and the thing that you're supposed to be doing. Say 16, you come home from job to 1730. You'll do your Java training. That's it. And you just duplicate it right over here and you stick to it. And then obviously any other important appointments, you can just type in right here. People have used this so in so many creative ways. I personally like to even have um, even have a color right here and I then mark the project, right? So if, if you absolutely can't learn, say every Thursday, because you're busy from eight in the morning till midnight and you have a job, then you can just mark it the color and it's going to help you learn a little bit more visually, right? So that's it. You're just going to find and block the time during this time, your phone off airplane mode. I'm serious. Airplane mode, no TikTok, no notifications, no calls. It's blocked. It's dead. Your computer, if you have any icons right here, they're not supposed to be here. I have my camera and then I have a screenshot software. I have a blue light blocking software. I'm using my mic. And this is a speaker from my windows. I can't disable this. And then I have something called Mac type, which just renders the fonts to make them nicer. Google Drive and then my overclocking. This is something to help me or the computer run faster. There is no communications whatsoever. There is no Discord popping. There is no Skype. There is no Messenger. There is no WhatsApp. There is no God, God knows what else. And I have a single tap right here open right now. And this is the level of commitment that you're going to do. Single tap. No other tabs, no other pop-ups, no other programs. That's it. Just you doing one thing that you're supposed to be doing because you made a commitment to excellence. Now you're going to work hard and you're going to spend the time that you're supposed to spend. And then number three is I'm going to be giving you a couple of tips on how to increase focus because I understand it's difficult. Oh my God. Great. Go to, I'm going to show, I'm actually going to show you all the Chrome extensions that I use. So the first extension, which I want you to, to, to download, it's called DF tube distraction free YouTube. If I go to YouTube, there is nothing on my homepage. It's completely empty. That's it. My homepage completely empty. And I click on how to learn Java. There's going to be a bunch of videos. None of them is mine. Say this guy, actually great video. Doesn't teach a lot, honestly, but you know, it's just 14 minutes. And you can see there's nothing else right here. There's nothing on my sidebar and you can even disable comments, which I highly recommend. So you can open up the options right here, the hide comments. That's it. You don't need to write, read comments. The reason I read comments is that I have my own YouTube channel and I'm trying to reply to all of you guys when I have time. The second extension I use is called Newsfeed Eradicator. So what happens for most of you guys, when you go on Facebook, check one message, you spend 20 minutes checking 20 messages, scrolling through Newsfeed. I don't have that. What I actually have is an empty feed saying nothing. And you can even enable quotes. 
if you go right here, show quotes, and I go back here, it's going to give you some very nice quotes, which are going to make you think. And every single time you reload the page, you reload the page, there is a different quote. And these quotes are, again, very, very excellent. Okay, so you can have that. You can have that right here. Again, it's called very simple. It's called Newsfeed Eradicator. And then the final thing which you need, I think we covered three, the fourth thing which you need is a proven process. If you're going to watch a shitty video, if you're going to follow someone who doesn't know how to code, it's going to be frustrating. For me, it was infu infuriating. I spent the last 12 years learning and coding Java, right? And I can tell you straight up that the amount of low quality BS information out there is ridiculous. And there's people who can't even format the code. I follow a YouTube tutorial and like some guys type like this, literally. And like some other guys type like this. And I'm just so confused and there's no explanation. This is your code right here. And then some, some guy just does like this. And then some other guy just puts static everywhere. Does not explain why. It's, it's really awful. We have abundance of information, but we have a scarcity of quality information. That is why I started teaching. My classes focus on making an identity shift, and we provide one-on-one -on -one personal help with our professional instructors twice per week, so you can actually share your screen. We're gonna have a Zoom call, you and me, buddy. And then you can share your screen, and I'm gonna tell you, dude, you're screwing up, this is wrong. And this is why it's wrong. Because a lot of these free YouTube tutorials, they don't have time, probably they just don't know because they followed someone else, you know, blind followed the blinds and they don't explain why. And then people, people memorize a bunch of things, but they don't really understand it. And the program is not really that great. And you're never going to get the $200, $200,000 contract. If you don't understand the code deeply. One thing that I would suggest if you don't want to check out my class for any reason is JetBrains Academy. It's great. Like the only, literally the only downside, because these people know why and they know how. They're really great. I mean, they made this software right here. You're, you'll be learning from the greats. The only thing that they don't have, instructors providing live help, which is a bummer. Okay, honestly, it's quite a big one for me. If I'm trying to learn and I get stuck and I have to answer, I have to ask in a community, and maybe someone else who does not know will answer me. There is no professional guidance. They don't have that. Apart from the course, if you never get stuck, if you never have questions, which is obviously false, it's a great course, but they do lack that one-on-one -on -one access that we have. I honestly can't recommend anything else. I think honestly, anything else is of questionable quality. Subscribe to this channel if you want more videos like that. We actually deal with Minecraft a lot, which is a great way to learn Java because you will be playing a video game, coding for a video game, which is super fun, super creative. And we have free videos on how to do that on this channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.